let's go to the part 2 which is basically calculating trigonometric ratios for 30 degree and 60 degree let us take an equilateral triangle p q r so p q r is an equilateral triangle now if this is an equilateral triangle all the three angles will be equal to 60 degree right second step is draw a perpendicular from P to QR so you basically draw a perpendicular line from P to QR so if this is perpendicular both these angles have to be 90 degree each now if this is 90 then this has to be 30 why because you have 60 you have 90 150 so the third angle has to be 30 degree similarly this has to be again 30 degree right now if you see observe triangle PQ let's call this point as M M should be congruent to triangle PMR why angle P is equal to or rather angle QPM is equal to angle RPM angle QMP is equal to angle RMP and angle Q is equal to angle R so all the three angles are equal therefore we conclude that these two triangles are congruent now let's assume that PQ is equal to QR is equal to PR is equal to 2x okay now if this is the case then QM is equal to MR why these are corresponding part of congruent triangles isn't it so if QR is equal to 2x this is also equal to 2x this is also equal to 2x then this should be equal to x and this should be equal to x so QM is equal to MR is equal to X. Now we need to find out what's the value of PM. This one. Now in triangle PQM, applying Pythagoras theorem, you will have PQ, which is the hypotenuse square, is equal to QM square plus PM square. <coughs> PQ is equal to what? 2x QM x plus PM square or PM square is equal to 2x whole square. This is 4x square minus x square 3x square or PM is equal to under root 3x square root 3 into x. So this side comes to root 3 into x. So in the triangle sin 60 degree. If I have to calculate sin 60 degree, this will be what? This will be equal to PM upon PQ root 3 x on 2x
right? Similarly, you will have cos 60 degree equals to Qm, which is x upon PQ, which is 2x tan 60 sin 60 upon cos 60 root 3 upon 2 by instead of dividing I can multiply and divide. So 1 by 2 I can write as 2 right so tan 60 is equal to under root 3 now let me just clean some part of the board to make way for calculations for 30 degrees. The others you can calculate by the reversal method. Now 30 degree is this. So sin 30 degree is equal to QM upon PQ. This goes up. Cos 30 degree of this angle will be PM under root 3x upon 2x root 3 upon 2 and tan will be this upon this 1 upon 2 into 2 upon root 3 instead of dividing I just reverse the order of this and for finding the other values namely cosec, sec and cot you can kind of just reverse these Okay?